We're joined in the studio this morning with Select Realty Stephanie Jones. Thank you for joining Good me. Good morning. On Monday morning, yes. right? Good morning. Good morning. And we're talking about buying a home for the first time. I love it because I really need this. So talk to me. What is the main thing that people really don't know when they're buying a house? I think what people don't realize is the value that a realtor brings to the transaction for the buyer. In almost all cases, the agent is paid for by the seller in order to facilitate the sale of their home. So it's one of the few times that you can hire a professional to guide you through a process and you aren't writing a large check to me. Um, if the other thing that people really need to know is that getting pre-qualified by at least two different vendors and we recommend local Marquette is so the UP is so lucky to have fantastic local lenders and we will find that if you are in a competitive situation in purchasing a house which a lot of people are right now the fact that you have a local lender can be a very big assistance to you that's very actually surprising with two. I mean, I think most people just realize they need to get pre-approved with one and I'm going through that process right now. So to know two, that's, that's a very, very helpful tip. As well as, you know, a big trick that people need to know when they're just even looking for a house with a realtor, what can you tell them? I think you have to have your ducks in a row before you go look at houses. There are agents who will <clears throat> just show you a house but what you want is an agent who's going to work with you and in order to do that they have to do some pre-qualifying not financially but just to check on seeing what's important to you when you buy your house it's not just three bedrooms a bath and a garage it, for me i like to always ask what do you really want to do in this new home and that will lead towards what house will be better for you do you think it's easier to then, you know, make a plan, talk with whoever you're living with, write that down, and then go to your realtor with that? I don't think you have to do that because okay. a good agent will guide you both through the process. And when you get that dynamic of what they both want, it is, um, it, it helps us find the right place for you. And a lot of times people will say, well, I want privacy. And what they really want is they want a big backyard for their dogs to run around. And, and when we can have that communication and sit down before we've started to go see houses, that's when you end up making stronger offers and stronger connections with the person who's guiding you through the whole process. Right, and we don't wanna you know, waste time looking at different houses. As I guess my final question, what can people expect as the time limit? We know housing right now is kind of up and down. Is there, is there a set time limit that people can expect on home buying? Absolutely not. I think all of us agree as agents, there are times when you show someone one house and they just know, or you show a hundred houses over <laughs> years. It depends on what your motivation is. For some people, they have to be out of an apartment or they start their job. And so they need a house right away. For others, they can wait until they find the house that ticks off most <laughs> of the bases. It doesn't have to be all. And I think, especially for the first time home buyer, they have to understand this probably won't be your forever house. This is gonna take you through the next couple of years. And that is definitely something I need to hold in my brain throughout this whole time. Thank you so much for joining me today, Stephanie. Well, I look forward to carrying you through this process. Oh, you definitely will be. <laughs>